just the weirdest things can transpire. Okay, I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't want to stop. I, my whole fruit drills have to So, um, let's go into reading. What is it that is happening? End of December going in November. There's a whole lot, ladies and gentlemen. No questions. There's a whole lot that is happening. So, what we're looking at... Is that I see a lot of you, uh, some sort of a sadness, some sort of a regret leaving December, going in January. Um, not feeling contented with what is going on. Just um, a sense of sadness that a lot of you are going through. Is it sadness that you... I've lost your job, or is it sadness um, that you have basically, basically, basically um, need to have some rest, or sadness that people are not coming back to your um, work, that sort of thing. So sadness comes up in all different forms. So let's focus. So the last two weeks of December, you are dealing with some sort of a hanger. Um, anger. Um, some of you realize that you had a male enemy. This man, whoever this man is and was, um, is a dark hair man. And I see people are you know, um, I'm speaking up and I see um, a Capricorn is going to be advising some of you of something that this man have done. A Capricorn is the one who's going to be advising you guys of who this man is and what this man have done. Um, I see a Gemini woman is very hangry. Whoever this Gemini woman is, is a, um, extremely, extremely hangry. But whatever is her problem, um, she, um, some sort of a situation came up with a Gemini woman in uh, the two first weeks of December. And I see a lot of anger. But I see that some of you men do not, um, do not deal with this Gemini woman for whatever the reason is. You realize that this Gemini woman is not uh, who she pretends to be. And I see, um, that is the situation that is transpiring. So I see a lot of you deal with a Gemini, a Pisces, um, a Capricorn, and a Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person. And I see whatever is happening and transpiring to this uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarian man. This man is like a manager or a businessman, a supervisor. Um, but this, this Capricorn is, is speaking up against this person and what this person have done. Because they realize that this person is just really, um, a deceptive person. This person is, um, your greatest enemies, Aquarian. And you guys are not even aware of this. And this Capricorn person is seeing the truth and is, uh, um, telling whatever that was transpired. Some of you have to uh, be careful of a Pisces. This person, um, this, th this person have two faces. Um, this person have two faces. So you, you, you better, um, be careful of uh, the Pisces and whatever is transpiring. But I see a Capricorn is going to be helping a lot of you, um, and showing up uh, who your enemy is. So, in um in this quarter going here here and I see um this this man is uh, um trying to protect uh, a Leo person um and they're seeing that a Leo and a Sagittarius and an Aquarian is very inconsistent. So when we, we, we come in the first week and we're looking at the first week what we're seeing is that some of you are dealing with a Gemini woman. 
whoever this Gemini woman is, a lot of anger is coming from this woman towards you for whatever the reason is. But I see some of you don't really care. This Gemini woman has been um, your biggest fiant in some ways. And, you know, you're like, mm, it's good. And you're listening to a Capricorn woman because you're realizing the truth of what has been happening and has been transpiring. And um, people are realizing that this Capricorn woman have a whole lot of uh, information. And you realize that this Gemini, um, for some of you, was your greatest enemy. Some of you have a man that is an enemy. Um, some of you have a black hair man that is a enemy. So you have to realize that on the work floor, you're going to be experienced at the last two weeks of December, um, some sort of a situation where you are being worked against in whatever form. But I see a Capricorn is going to be the one that is going to be helping you. So a Capricorn and a Pisces could be coming in to help out some of you Aquarians to protect you from your enemy, okay? Because some of you Aquarians have an enemy um, that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person. So you have to be aware of who this person is and what is transpired and stand your ground against this person. As we go in the last week, we see a Pisces is going to be um, surprisingly helping out some of you. This person is going to be coming in unexpectedly helping out some of you for, um, and it could be something what some of you have done um, for them in the past, and they're going to be returning the favor to you in the future. Now, whoever this person is, uh, this person is an Aries Leo, a Sagittarius businessman, or it could be someone that is working on the workplace. You can't trust this person. This person um, is untrustworthy. This person is uh, um, very untrustworthy. And a lot of you are going to be realizing a connection that this person have to a young Leo woman. And you're going to be realizing that the young Leo woman is inconsistent. They're realizing how inconsistent this young Leo woman is. Uh, and I see... Uh, that a lot of you are going to be successful over this person, okay? So let's look at the diamond shape. As we look at the diamond shape, we see a Pisces is going to be finding out that uh, this Leo person is inconsistent. And that is what is going to be giving some of you Aquarian a win um, and a success over this person. Because you're going to be finding out, you Aquarians, uh, whether or not you're investigating these people or resolving some sort of a situation that these two people, Pisces and a um, Leo, is inconsistent, okay? Um, whatever they're saying, whatever they're doing is inconsistent. A lot of you Aquarian are surprisingly going to be successfully overcoming a situation that a Leo has gotten some of you Aquarian in. And you're going to be surprisingly um, getting away um, from and getting over this Leo that have created some form of an issue because I see a Gemini man is going to be helping you um, to resolve the situation. Um, a lot of you are going to be surprised at who is your enemy because I see also in the last week uh, um, a Pisces is going to be informing you of your biggest enemy and you're going to be very, very surprised who this person is, okay? Then we see um, a Leo man, a young Leo man and a young Leo woman and a Libran. They're going to be realizing that these people um, have been collaborating together. So it's, it's a situation at, the, uh, at work where you're realizing maybe this is the supervisor of these two people. These two people have to report to this person. So a, a lot of you are going to be finding out uh, some sort of uh, um, shadow shadow work in a company where um, it's as if whoever that works in the team on the this person, um, that this person controls them. So people are now realizing that it's as if uh, this person control a young Leo woman and a young Libran woman, okay? And you're seeing how 
it's as if they don't do anything or they work against you if you try to um, work against another person. But they're really realizing um, that a Leo woman has not been honest. And that's how a lot of you Aquarians is going to be successful over this person. And a Gemini is going to be helping you to be very successful over these people because uh, a Gemini is aware of who these people are and how these people work and the horrible deceptive play that these people have created and uh, and have done. And it's as if this Gemini know this black hair man. It could be a black person also, or it could be, um, yeah, a dark person also. Um, the connection is as if a Gemini know the connection um, between this dark person. And this person is controlling a Leo and a Libran um, to do some sort of a, um, it's as if, um, if, if it's in the sales department, um, he teaches them how to um, give half of the sale to the company, half of the sale to hold in the cash register or take out. Okay, so it's... Um, um, it's as if he gets these people to come in, give them a work, but yet still control them in some sort of a way. So if you notice, uh, this person is not really a nice person because um, this person um, is as if they are afraid of this person. Okay, One is inconsistent because she um, is very inconsistent with our information. The other one stay faithful um, to him, the Libran. So you're seeing that it's as if uh, you have to deal with uh, a supervisor and, um, you know, two people that is um, very um, inconsistent, but yet still um, not uh, really honest about what they do. And I see truth is going to be coming out because this person is like an enemy of the state, an enemy of the company. This person is as if uh, um, they work the way they run a department, but, you know, it's as if they run it the way they need to, through protocols, so that sort of a thing. And I see some of you Aquarians are going to be getting rid of this person and it's all team, the whole team, because uh, it's as if you Aquarians have, so it says, you know, it's my company. And if you can't go uh, with the rules and regulation, I'm going to get rid of you guys. And I see in the second week, uh, um, you're going to be happy because it's, it's, it's as if uh, you make the decision um, in the second week of December or you have been working on and making this, this decision. And it's going to be really finding out that, hey, these people are, no, these people have been you know, running my, my company, my business down the drain for a very long time. Um, no, I really don't want you, um, to be a part of my company anymore. And I see, um, the last week, uh, the second week of, um, January, you're very happy. I see you're dancing. Um, you're very, very happy that these people have left. It's as if, uh, um, this Leo man or woman, and this Libran was creating a whole lot of issue. And it's as if it was hard to get rid of them until you had to like, um, take on some sort of, a, um, legal, city, uh, legal, uh, legalities to get them out of your companies. And I see you're going to be successful. Um, in January, you're going to be successful. So I see you're going to be um, letting them not return to work. And I see your lawyers and the legal team is going to be getting rid of these people because you just, you, you, I think some of you just realize that these people are just bad news. Um, so I see you're going to be surprisingly realize that this uh, supervisor or this man, whoever this man is or was, that was running another visual was just the biggest, your biggest enemy. And I see now you, you, you are overcoming this because you're really realizing what was happening and transpiring unexpected. 
um, this young person is going to say something. This young woman is going to say something unexpectedly that is going to give you a win. And you're going to be using that to get rid of this person. Because, you know, it's as if um, you went to a, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, or this person, I've been speaking about these things. And now finally, finally, um, you know, you're realizing, I see a Gemini is angry, but this, uh, um, this, this Capricorn woman is like, you know, <laughs> be angry. Um, you know, it's a Capcom man or woman. This person, um, important revelation is given some important information and they realize that the information that this person give was correct. So I see a lot of you, Aquarians is going to be very, very successful coming in the month of January. I see you're going to be very, very successful over, um, some sort of a situation that was happening and transpiring. Um, and I see uh, um, that you're going to be realizing that uh, um, a Libra woman could be staying very faithful to you no matter what, okay? So um, in the first week of January, you're going to be realizing that a Libra woman and a Gemini is going to be staying faithful to you for whatever is going on and transpire. I see success is going to be coming up. Some of you, a Gemini is going to be helping you um, to bring in some sort of a success for you. So this is going to be wonderful. Then I see in the second week of January, I see um, some of you ladies, 50 years and older, is going to be, you know, really happy and um, getting out and getting rid of a situation. Okay. Um, I see... Um, um, pleasure the pastime that you're really happy that certain people have left the company or left your corporation uh, it's as if you can breathe now so you're going back to work uh, the first week was uh, as if uh, you, you were still working on getting these people out and getting these people away um, from whatever was transpiring and then the second week uh, is when finally um, you're going to be really successfully overcoming whatever what was transpiring. Um, I see some of you could be dealing with a um, pensioner person that could be um, and is going to be successfully um, supporting and giving some of you like um, um, some sort of a opportunity. So it's as if this person... Um, could be a boss or a director or a stockbroker or a stockholder um, that has seen that you really, really um, is good at what you do and is going to be asking you to run your run a department. Okay. Um, they're going to be really asking you to run a department for them because they have really seen. Um, the job, the work that you have done and how you clear up some sort of a situation that was going on. Oh my God. I love you guys. I got to go. Um, <laughs> if you want to see the extended of this reading, um, please use the link um, to come back. Namaste.